Air India doing a madness. Ready? When you look at this video, I feel depressed looking at the, the video. The people look so dookie. The people look so unhappy on yeah. that flight. I think whoever's recording, I don't, the people being recorded, I'm, I'm not sure that they were aware they're being recorded in the morning, right? Yeah. Of course, the half of them are asleep. This is probably the overnight flight to India. Generally, people's experience of Air India is never good. It's diabolical. Like, it's like, God, the bitch, you, you know, tutti, you know, tutti means. Broken. Oh, tutti, you're saying tutti, that's broken. Yeah, yeah. Tutti is like tutti tight karde. Oh, tighten the interesting. Tutti, okay. The pipe in it. It's like, it's not one though. It's, it's you're watching it and you're like, me better. Yeah. Everything is raining. Me through. better. Like, and you're watching, you're like, how is this possible? Where is the pani coming from? What's up, people? Welcome to this week's episode of the Indian Doctor Podcast. I'm giving fall a bump. I've got a little shatri here that we need to open up. But we're not revealing that yet. No, I'm giving you the shatri. The Mitra Di Shatri. Mitra Di Shatri. The Do you know it's a very dirty song? I know it is. What's it mean? When you open my umbrella. No, no, it's not a literal thing. So growing up, huh. guys, I hope you enjoy this segment, by the way. This segment has no name. It's the pre-segment to the segment. I'm going to just this in... umbrella here, but yeah, sorry, go on. Mitra Di Shatri. Uddagi. Uddagi. You know what's funny? It's funny, guys. You guys will appreciate this when you see the reel. That reel's not come out yet, has it? No. With the dub over, right? No. I could, I'd forgot what the the dance move he does. Huh. He's alright dancer, you know. Who is it? Uh, Babu Man. Achha, Babu that segment. That... Yeah, yeah. It's quite good. You'll see when you see it, you'll be like, "Yo, the man's got moves." Yeah, yeah. But this segment, which has no name, guys. If you have suggestions for this pre-segment to the segment, let us know. We'll said, just keep it quite a lot. We don't have to give it a name. I I everything has to have a name. I said to India, it's like when you go to Nando's, there are certain things on the menu, not on the menu, sorry, but you can ask for it. Yeah. For example, spice levels, right? What's your spice level? Medium. Medium, man. All right, cool. So I used to be a mango and lime guy until I discovered Perry Tamer, which is like kind of got like a barbecue flavor to it. Swad, basically. It's swad. So this is the Perry Tamer segment. That's what I'm going to call it for now. Perry this is Perry Tamer. Tamer. Right. I forgot what I was going to talk about in the pre-segment, though. Paul Gahan. It's just been a while, hasn't it? It has been a while. Can been we been tell people why it's been a while now? No, no, we'll get to that. It's fine. Oh, That's after I'm doing my singing. But uh, what, what does it mean? That's what I was going to tell you. Yeah, that was a perfect time. So, You've lifted my umbrella. No, you're literally translating it, but it's the analogy. It's like, online, online, it's yeah, yeah, yeah. one of them. It's like, okay, you're grabbing a snake, but what does the snake mean, right? Yeah, so, yeah. So in the same vein, shout out to Katapale. In the same vein, um, we used to sing it. My mom, was, mom one day was like, you know what he's saying, right? I was like, uh, no, mom. He's like, it's like he's talking about men being promiscuous. And your shatri is basically you going around and just giving it. Just keeps, it keeps going around. Keep spreading his, keep uh, spreading his, uh, his flower, life. His flower. His life. His butta. Life vessels. Yeah, exactly. Yes. Seeds. Seeds. Germination. Cross pollination. Can they not? They're like the bees. Okay. Yes. They go from one flower yes, to yes, the next flower. Yes, yes. I'm like, Mithra di shatri di udgi. Hold it. Ching. You know, the bit that goes. Ding, 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 ding. Um, yeah, because the second line, Mitran Shati Udgi, full something something, Blat Tera Legia. Someone's taking your flower. Yes. That's what the line is. No yes. We all know the first line, Mitran Shati Udgi. We're like, yeah, yeah. And yes. Like with most songs, you don't remember the rest. But, full Tera Blati Oblata. We need to get lyric up. Legia. Someone's taken your flower. It's the, it's literally, and the mom told me, I was like, yo. Another dirty song. Like all these songs have double double meanings. That's what double 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 double. I told Rupa about that. Um, we were at uh, Tim Hortons, Timmy's, mm, mm. and I said, "Look, look at the menu." She goes, "What's that?" I said, "Double double." <laughs> <Dabba. laughs> so, uh, so yeah, there you go. Give me my jingle, man. Come on. <clears throat> Been a while. Been a while. Been a while. <clears throat> you want the normal version? Confessions of Brown Monday. Ching. And this Munda is, drum roll please, a... No, 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 Punjabi, which is a dada. Daddy! Doctor is a daddy! Ching, 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 ching. Now, guys, the reason why we're using this is, Indy said to me, Mitra, have you got party popper? Yes. And I was pretty confident, we'll come back to the fact that my dad in a second, I'm not sidestepping that, but I've got to explain this. 
and I went downstairs. Now remember, this you is moved thing. everything around. I'm moving things around. Things out. I have been getting rid of so much stuff. He knows this. In theory, for our baby coming along, it was a good chance to basically clean the house, and I've cleaned so much stuff. So mm. I must have had pipe problems. Thought, when am I ever going to use these? Yes. Hence, got rid of them. So I thought, why don't we get these beautiful little cocktail sticks, huh? It's not doing oh, anything, bro. It actually looks really good on the screen. Look at that. It does, doesn't it? It does, it does, it does. So, um... Dada, daddy. Badaya, potta. You're, uh, you're, you're fertile. How's it feel? <sighs> <laughs> <laughs> All right, so... Your shatri <laughs> has been opened. Meri shatri, da, na. Top of the line, the shatri, you know. Yes. That's it. Um, no, this We've is, been sitting this on really this news for nine months. Genuinely. Uh, you told you, me you, and Sanj. Right here. At was, the same place, right here in that, that corner. corner. Now I'm going to think, it must have been a pod day. It was pod It was the day we spoke about the NHS. Strikes. Yes. It was that day. Right. I'll tell you what I remember from that day. You tell me what you remember. Okay. So obviously, we knew maybe three, four days before that. Yes. But obviously we wanted to reel both you at the same time, number one, and in person. And yes. we knew the pod was coming up. So and you knew great. that we were both coming that day. Which, which is doesn't rare. normally happen. Which is rare. So I, I can't remember that time Sanj came for a pod. Very rarely. Very rare. So I don't, why, did, why did she come back? Good family. The whole I think I had something happening that weekend. Family was. But I brought her to the house that evening because I was like, let's just go. You and Shindy can chill. Yeah. We, well, can, we can do our thing. I mean, Sanj came. She had a laptop. She was sitting over there. She, she was working work. in she was the working corner. There, and I yeah. thought, this is brilliant. And... And we'll go over like obviously like us doing the pregnancy test, that part of the story. But this point, we, I walked over to Sanj. I think I told Sanj first, and I just I just put it in her hand, and uh, she was like, <laughs> "Oh my god, oh my god!" Like right, and then and then then you like so Indy's normal reaction to when big stuff happens. Oh, oh, that's how <laughs> you do exactly it. That's how he does it. Does the double O, <laughs> and then. And then he says the most like dookie thing in the world. We're all like, really happy. And he's like, it's early days. Like, you know, just don't be too happy. You know, just you yes. never know. Look, and look, genuinely from a medical perspective, before the first 12 weeks, that is absolutely fantastic. you had the first scan, yes. Yes. I was like, bro, I'm telling you, like, you can have some cushy in this moment. No, right? I was happy, but I was cautiously happy. <laughs> you know, you're like, I will, I will contain my happiness till after the scan. And then yes. I was like, okay, Indy. No, but I was happy. I know, I know. I was I know, happy. I know, Don't I know, make it out to be not. I was happy. Like, really good. I'm losing the you to the podcast, to the podcast from Karani. <laughs> Thank you. Bye bye. And from that moment, we were, you know, planning like, and guys, you look, you would have seen this. Um, there hasn't been a break in releases of episodes. No, we you know? kept it going. Just by chance, everything has worked out. Oh. I think we were intentional as well. They're we were a little bit, but yeah. the turnaround time on stuff has been yes. upped. Yes. Because I knew you were going to need time off a little yeah, bit yeah. to get your bearings. Um, now that my little niece is here. Your little niece, yeah. So we yes. can reveal the guys have had a baby girl. Yes. Maharaj um, Kirpa, Vahiguru Kirpa. Uh, and we've named her Ekam. Ekam called Mavi. Uh, and Ekam essentially means... The well, tell, the, tell the double entendre you did there. The only clock the other week. Oh, right. Yeah. So... It's a couple of things. So her name, her name and her initials are essentially the same as what you're on about, right? So Ekam, E-double-K-A-M, double K, very important. And obviously her initials, E-K-M. E-K-M. Which is also like Ekam. Exactly. I clocked this the other day. I was thinking, this Genius. guy, he definitely Genius. planned that. Genius, isn't it? Yeah. Hey man, uh, Shindy, sorry. Please don't hurt me, Shindy. Yeah, yeah, okay. yeah. We were together. Uh, the name, the name came, the name came to us. Right, we were, oh, you've got a second bigger rip. Oh, no. Oh, it's huge. Where? Um, oh, there. Oh, my God. You're right in my line of sight. I'm like, bro, the Latam Bandha guy. So man. these <laughs> jeans I've written now badly, <laughs> badly. Oh. Right. Jello you can just look at my I can just look. I, can I look was going to wear that. these tomorrow, but it clearly not now. It does there. No, you can say, yeah. Yeah, so we were man, here. I've got my new band now. Okay, birthday present. Yeah, fine. you said you yeah, said okay. Indy. What do you need? Birthday present. I need a new pair of these. You send me a link. Jeans. I'll, get the jeans. I'll send you a link of these no jeans. Shoe. Thank you. What's the, what's the brand? Make yeah. Levi's. Oh my god, I was, I was going to get you next to the jeans. Man, these premium quality. All right. Levi's Save. Black Save Friday them. sales over, Save but all. Christmas sale is coming soon. Full price there, but Christmas day, I'll give you the full length, size, and fit. Okay, yeah, that's fine. Just send the link as you I'll want. Send it. you the link. That's Thank fine. you. Thank you. Um, we're here. 
we're doing a pod and we talk about prashad hands it's that day and we do samosa crew illuminati yes right? what and happened then, then? so it's, it's the april that was april week, yeah yeah weekend, weekend right so we shot really in the morning after yeah we did and then i, I drove back to london yeah right and then i went on my staycation to peterborough and the first night um so obviously it's trimester one and guys out there if you've had kids trimester one classically uh you get a lot of tiredness like you don't yeah I, <laughs> the lady. yeah you know you get a lot of tiredness i need my rest i've done my bit i need oh, to recuperate yeah <laughs> so for example like, i mentioned to be sitting here but like, oh, let's chill watch some tv you get to like nine o'clock super early you know i mean we could easily sleep like 11 12 normally and then put the show on ready and then nine or five shindy like, like out out like a light so promise the one so staycation day one we chilled we're going up to bed everyone else is chilling downstairs kenny honey and um and then because <coughs> we had boy names for a while at this point, obviously, we don't know the sex. Mm. But we're like, okay, but obviously it could be a girl. And girl names <coughs> for us were tougher. And I'll, and I'll obviously share this with everyone now. It's when when we were thinking about names, boy or girl, we wanted to be, A, be very intentional. By that, I mean, we've talked about this before. I don't subscribe to fusion names. So making names specifically easier. If you like the name and it happens to be easier, then that's okay. But you have to like the name. I'm not doing it for the intention of pleasing somebody else, number one. Number two, I didn't want names that were kind of, you know, the Jeet, Breed, Inder era type names. Fuck you, man. You rock it, it's fine. But Inder, no, yeah. No, but you're Veer. What, you just wanted to have Inder singular? No, no, but I'm saying, no, but I meant, I meant more like Jitinder. What's not, wrong with not, that? No, Inder is your prefix. I'm saying using Inder as Listen, a Listen, it's not my fault that I've got two endings and my name put together. But it's nice. As Sam you're just not, pointed out to me you're nice. many times. Your name is very nice. Ah, your name is two ends put together. I'm like, yo, yeah, that yeah, hurts. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> She's right, but you work it, right? But I was like, okay. And then the third thing for me is, well, I want a powerful name. I want a name that has meaning. Um, And so we were looking and thinking and then the name just came and we were like, that's that's the name. Ikam. Um, not Ikam. Ikam. And uh, Ikam Gor. Um, when I said it, I was like, okay, like Ikam Gar, Ikam Gor. Nice. Uh, and I was like, and so I'll tell you what it means now. So Ikam means the oneness, the oneness of God. That God lives in everything and God has many, many names. And my gift to her as my daughter is, you know, this is this is where your name comes from. This is what it means. Carry this mm. proudly. Mm. Um that was the name. <coughs> that was that, yeah. You know the day when you told Sanj? The, you know what was going through here. my head? I was in here? Yeah. When you say they told Sanj, you mean tell both of you? Yeah, yeah. But, but you, you told Sanj Sanj. first and you told me. I was like cautious. And in my head, I was thinking, yeah. everything changes now, isn't it? <laughs> I was like, oh, right, every, everything's changing now. I was like, oh, I wasn't ready for this. Because <laughs> we knew that you and Shindi were obviously trying, trying. to have a kid at some point. Mm. Um, and you were very scientific about it, as you've said. Where you were like checking a bunch of stuff, like you want me to share that stuff now? You can if you want, yeah. if you're comfortable. Yeah, yeah. So guys, <laughs> so being a doctor, like with anything, like being an optimizer, being yes. an optimizer doctor, being an optimizer. Yeah, that's probably more than being a doctor. Being an optimizer, like with anything, you want success, right? And so mm. success means you you want um you want obviously your partner to become pregnant. Mm. So you start looking, reading. YouTube videos, speak to other couples, what do you guys do? And because there's a lot out there now and you, you know, you hear a lot about you should try for this long, but if this doesn't happen, maybe you should get tests. So in your head, you're like, well, how long do I try before I get tests? Big thing. <clears throat> and you hear stories about like IVF. We had your, your sister uh, and brother on and, you know, that became a lot more relevant to me. I rewatched that episode and I was like, having a child is not a given. No. Big thing. And you understand why I said, <coughs> yeah, 12 weeks. Yeah, because of what happened to my sister. Yep, and I was like, yeah, yeah. get to twelve weeks. Yeah, 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 yeah. Because I know I've seen it be given and be taken away very quickly. Absolutely. So that's why I was about like get to the twelve week. Yeah. Like, and then I'll be like full up and arms. Like, yeah, yep, yeah, this yeah. is good to go. And even with that, like, obviously as a doctor, I have seen things. You know, there are late miscarriages. Yeah. Complications. A lot of stuff can go. Yeah, on there are complications, but the probability of it lessens. Lessens. Yeah, absolutely that. I mean, I'll, the only, not not caveat, the only bit I'll kind of fast forward here and say is when she was born and having seen and watched, you know, labor progress and it happened, when the baby actually came, when Ekam came out, you, the, in that moment, the appreciation you have for the sanctity of life, mm. this, 
yeah, like it's life is so precious because now I've seen where it's come from. And yeah, come on, they are so delicate, and there are so many things that can go wrong. Mm-hmm. You know, and it's it's all like kind of they're not there, and then they're there. Like literally, when they're coming out, is it's literally like seconds, and then whoa, whoa, what's happening? What's happening? What's happening? Yeah. Um, but coming back to it, um, what were you saying? The reveal. So when you told us on the day, yeah. And I said, oh, I was scientific. like, everything changes. Scientific, yeah. right. So, yeah, so, you, you know, you track on the apps, you track hormone levels and basal body temperatures and you learn you have apps and all this stuff. And the funny thing is, it's India. I was like, you know, you watch these films, man, and people have, like, accidental pregnancies. I was like, I don't know anyone's That's an accidental. fucking miracle. Like, came on there because from a scientific point of view, when somebody is the boiling pot of, of, of uh, probability and the boiling pot of chance that comes into that, hmm. for everything to come to a perfect collaboration then it's really small a mix is not so possible small. but we think yeah yeah you have unprotected sex once and it's done in it because that's what tv and films tell you yeah morning but, after pills right yeah and you think but again and this is the thing man it's like okay i'm a doctor but it's not like i remember in detail the menstrual cycle what happens to hormone lh levels and fh and all this stuff so i had to re-watch that and then you know go back to school yeah basically be like, right i get this now so, and what you quickly learn is there is this window called the fw the fertile window that's where the chance of pregnancy, implantation, conscious conception, very high. Mm. And you realize within like a month period, it's like a three, four day period, three, four days, that's it. Mm. It's not a lot. Mm. And so you're trying to time it because you know outside of that, having unprotected sex, the chance of it actually leading to um, your pregnancy is very, very low. Yeah. And so then, yeah, and you think about that point. Like, we don't know that, do we? Yeah, yeah. And then so that, that's part of your brain. You're like, okay, I need to time it. And then part of your brain is like, well, you know, there are places like, for example, let's take India, right? And or other areas which are certain parts, other parts of the world where they obviously aren't using apps and not doing any of these things, they're still getting pregnant. So then you're like, so to make yourself feel better, you say, well, if they can do it, like by chance, by chance, yeah. so, <laughs> but you you talk yourself into because you know from a male perspective, right? Obviously, you're not going to be carrying the baby, so your job is my saman. Come back to saman, my techi, my triple techi handle needs to work. Yes. Right. And, you know, I spoke to someone who used to be my PA and she was saying about how, you know, her and her, her husband, he's having tests and, he, and the test came back for him saying there's like a deficiency in the sperm or something. Mm-hmm. And she's like, outwardly, like when he does the, the sample and the amount and stuff, it looks fine. Like she goes, but that, that does not matter at all. Yeah, yeah. You know, these are things you cannot see in, unless you have tests. Um, the amount of relief I felt knowing that Shindi had become pregnant, like the amount of, um, you know, kirpa that had happened at that point, I was like, Maraj, thank you. Thank you so much. Like, this is not a given. Mm. Um, you know, and, and the backdrop to to that, so this was in, uh, this man's birthday weekend. I'm going to tell you the story of that. So in February, we went to India. So India, we went, it was Nandiji's 80th mm. birthday, we went there to mm. surprise her. But as part of that, we we did a, kind of like what his mom's done recently, we did a bit of a yatra. Yeah. You understand the word yatra? Vaguely, but tell people. So yatra, like a, like a special, like a religious trip. So um, it's a, February's a very nice time to go to India. There's no makhiya, you can walk around, temperature's it's not beautiful. not too hot, yeah, yeah. It's beautiful, right? So went to Hanumandar Sahib, went to a couple of local gudwara to us, went to Baba Buddhaji's gudwara quick side story here so baba buddhaji so if you look at the photo there on my shelf on the left yeah that's baba buddhaji maharaj baba buddhaji maharaj is that babaji who for six guru sabs when the guru sabs were changing babaji was the one who was anointing the next guru sab mm. six guru sabs mm. so he's been around for a while for a while and obviously around guru sabs themselves guru arjun dev ji's uh, wife couldn't have a child right this is how his nimrata you understand what nimrata Nimrta means humility. Right. This is how much Nimrta Guru Arjun Dev Maharaj as the Guru has himself. He's the Guru. He could have done that. Wife's pregnant. He didn't do that. Mm. He stayed in what we call Hukam. You understand Hukam? Hukam is like... Um, hukam means order. Like if I give you a Hukam, that means I'm telling you something to do. But in like from a more spiritual point of view, it's like you're living in, in, his, in his will. Mm. You don't take things upon yourself. So although Guru Sahib has a lot of power and can will things, like people always... Like in Sikhi class, people ask me like... If Guru Gobind Singh Ji Maharaj was so great, and when he was on the battlefield, when he clicked his fingers and all the people die. Mm. But that's not staying in Pana or Hukam, which means you stay... In humility. 
in humility and you stay in whatever God does mm. is right. Right. So Guru Arjan Dei Maharaj then said to his wife, go see Baba Buddha Ji. And the first time she went to see Baba Buddha Ji Maharaj, she went with like a whole procession and she made this like extravagant langar. And Baba Ji said, come back in simplicity. She then came herself, no procession, no bodyguards, <clears throat> and made simple, that's what's showing in the photo, simple um, roti, mm. simple langar. Mm. And basically, Baba Buddha Ji then did... Um, Button, he gave button, gave like a basically like an like also like an order, like he he said something, uh, and he said you'll you'll have a son, it's Guru Har Gobindji Maharaj, and he 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 basically broke this onion, and he said like I'm breaking this onion, he will smash the enemy because mm-hmm. this is the point where from Guru Arjan Di Maharaj who then had Shahidi on the Tati Tavi sitting on the, the yeah, yeah. metal plate, Chime Pasha then took up Miri Impiri, then we, then we start to take up. Shastar. Because yeah. now was the time where you had the Santa aspect from Guru Sahib 1 to 5. And then we had the Sapai aspect, the soldier aspect. Santa Sapai, Saint Soldier. That started to then come in at that point. But Maharaj gave the button there. He said, now you'll have a son who's like this. Mm. Um, so the reason why I tell you this story is so Baba Buddha Ji's Gurdwara, which is very close to Mandar Sahib, maybe 20, 25 minutes. People traditionally will go if they're seeking a child. Mm. Really? Yeah. <clears throat> wow. So, on so when we we, we were in Pratyala, <coughs> so Pratyala to there was about four or five hours, and in the morning, um, so our house Shindi made some prasad there herself, uh, and then we went to Baba Buddha Ji's Godora, took um, fruit and things with us, and then we did a das, and then that what they do with the prasad that you make, they then put it into distribution longer, so everybody can eat it. it. Yeah, yeah. Um, so yeah, so that so that was February, so. Dirdas from Maharaj, Maharaj Kirpakro, um, obviously doing what we're doing, came back. Meher's birthday is on the 1st of March. Uh, that weekend, we went to Hampton Palace. Shindi hadn't had a period, so she was due. Mm. I said, but let's not check it on the Friday, because if it's not Ruin your weekend. positive, then yeah, it's a birthday weekend, we're going to be thinking about it. <clears throat> came back on Sunday night. Um, Shindi doesn't tell me at this point she's doing a pregnancy test mm. so she's in the bathroom I'm like here like unloading Saman <laughs> he goes uh, can, can you just come to the bathroom I, th- I think it's a little bit positive a little bit positive I was like Shins was like it's not positive it's not positive <laughs> <laughs> okay it's like COVID right it's exactly the same in the lines of yeah. COVID right and uh, so I looked at it. I was like, "Shindi, this is positive, man." Um, and then she's like, "No, no, let's do another one." Okay. She's another one of the same brand. Yeah. And then there's a third one, which is the one we showed you in Sand, which is like yeah. a much nicer looking one with it, where it's like that. Yeah. The other one's like two lines, like COVID, and that third one was like a proper cross. Yeah. <clears throat> I was like, "This is it. You're pregnant." Um, and that was it. And that, that was so. That was early March, and then uh, the weekend. And did you hug? Christmas. Like, yay. Yeah, congrats. Mm, well done. We we did we got a hug. We took a hukum nama, which I've recorded in that diary over there at the, yeah. at the time. And then we went downstairs and told um mom and dad were watching TV. Mm. So I was like, mom wanna tell you mom and dad wanna tell you something. <laughs> so I was like, Yeah, I didn't know how to say it. Like how do you say it? So I was like, Dadiji, Dadaji. That's what I said. Yeah. And then mom was like, <gasps> <laughs> Mom goes straight away, dad was like, like watching TV. So yeah, Dad, do you want to like pause the TV or something? Like yeah, that? do you want to like mute it? Good job. About time. That's <laughs> <laughs> oh, right. Thanks, Dad. <laughs> Cheers. Very functional. <laughs> uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I, th- I think it's been sinking in slowly, mm. and, and now that Ikem is here, like Dad, <laughs> Dad's like, yeah, I, I, I don't, I have no interest in you anymore. <laughs> where, where is Ikem? What about my granddaughter? Where is my granddaughter? Yeah, yeah, yeah exactly. Um, so yeah, that that was the story of. That and I think, guys, look, guys don't talk about the journey about when you're trying, uh, and it's very easy to become disheartened. So I will, I will say this: if anybody wants any advice, then reach out um, because I'm more than happy to discuss this. I know when you when you come around to it, I have. So this guy's got journals, you. videos. So much. This goes in here. I'm kidding. No, no, no. But he has like he has like videos of like the setup of Saman, all the run up towards it, all the guides of things you have to go through all of the checklists you got to do the stages. all of the baby prep 
Yeah, exactly. There's, Everything. There's, yeah, stage one is get pregnant. Yeah. Then it's theory for that. And then it's labor theory. And then it's now the baby's here. So there's, there's all these different things. And I'm more than happy to share my experiences. And, you know, it's I've learned from someone else. I'll pass it on. <clears throat> but the journey to becoming pregnant is not a given. But obviously, you can do things to increase your chances. Uh, and guys should be sharing this. Don't feel isolated. Um, <laughs> the irony of it is, where <laughs> in our heads, we all talk about get married. I want to do whatever. Right. This age, some baby. In the same way you put something in a candle, you just think, oh, you know, it's going to happen. No problem. Yeah. And when it comes to it, and, you know, initially, if you, you know, you start having periods, you have negative pregnancy tests, you're like, why is it not happening? Because you're like, I'm doing everything. But it's not as simple as, you know, one, yeah, one plus yeah, one yeah. equals one two. Plus one equals two. And Sometimes it to, says one plus one equals fuck you. <clears throat> so, yeah. You've got to be okay with that. And you've got to be okay with, you've got to be patient. That's important. Uh, and you, you kind of not going to blame each other. Mm. Um, yeah. Jamie, who you know, my PT, um, because he'd been through a couple of miscarriages uh, and he's, he's got a baby boy now. Um, and he, I was at the gym one day and he was like, he was basically saying, look, don't overdo it. Like take breaks. Yeah. Because otherwise he goes, it becomes a chore, it becomes mechanical and it's not good energy. And at, at the time he told me it was really good advice because it's exactly what I need to hear. And because it's coming from a place where this person knows what he's talking about, again, you get the reassurance because you don't really, unless someone's going through it at the time, you just talk to some friends, but it's been so long, they don't remember that yeah, headspace. Yeah. Um, and just checking in with him, you know, that, that was really helpful. Um, so like, like, yeah, I'm just saying it now, guys, if anybody wants to discuss anything related to pregnancy, um, the emotions you may have, what you should be doing, happy shit. I feel that. Yeah. So that was, <coughs> that was pregnancy, but yeah, they've been throughout the podcast now, as we go forward, there'll be many, many other stories that'll come out. In the run-up, what are the funny things? I think we'll, we'll 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 save a few of these for the future because yeah, there's going to be somewhere that comes out, and I'm like, tell me about that, tell me about this, mm -hmm. tell me about that, because it's nice. I don't think guys get a chance to talk about their experiences. I feel like the ladies' experience is very understood, very spoken about, which is completely understandable because oh. they are birthing the child, bro. But I... the guy doesn't get much much um, not recognition but kind of space to tell like their bit. Like, yeah. So I think it's yeah, good exactly. for you to t kind of display that, that aspect yeah, of where yeah. we kind of get lost a little bit in it. Yeah, yeah. Because look, Cause it's all about mum and child. And the mom guy's like, child. I didn't really have much to do then at that point. But you still go through your own emotional, <clears throat> your own emotional tripes, I guess you can say. Exactly that. There, as a man, you will have emotion. You obviously have emotions, but they're different emotions. And what I will say, having seen labor, the amount of respect I have for women, for yep. my wife, Shindy. <laughs> the, the day after, I said, look, listen, mate, you, I said it before, but I, I, it's not that I mean it now. I mean it even more, let's say now. I was like, you are a hero, man. Like, you, no man could do what a lady or a woman can do. Yeah. Fact. And when you see your, the person that is everything to you, in pain, pushing, contractions, you you just understand that like there's no way I could have done this. Mm. Uh, so it's a combination of how amazing women are and how amazing your wife or partner is. Yeah, <clears throat> and then the immediate sanctity of life. And from a emotion perspective, you asked me today, and I was saying like how mellow I feel. Not I'm not mellow like like I, like I, the best way to describe it is like I don't care about things, but that sounds like. It's a bit wrong. It's just more. You say think that you have more significance placed on your daughter than everything else. Yeah. So, so things that felt important are less important. The they're not completely unimportant. They're not completely. But exactly. they're less important. Your priorities just shift very quickly. Good. Huh? Good. That means you're checked. You're zoned in on the right thing. Yeah, yeah. And and you don't like you know one of my good friends. He said this to me. He goes, "Your instincts will kick in." Yeah. But it's hard to appreciate what that means until it does. Until it happens. Yeah. Um, and the sense of immediate responsibility so from there you said what can, what can the man do there is a sense of responsibility mm -hmm. i am responsible for this life yeah forever forever that doesn't turn off right and now uh, i told one of my i told i was with thingy yesterday uh the qm boys spam spam tata yeah yeah and uh i was saying to him that before when we said 
I'd I'd like to because yeah, I'm just cool. cautious of the camera it's turning fine, off. Yeah, Gone. Yeah, sorry, carry on. Yeah, so I think from a again from a male perspective, we have this idea. I know we're similar in this sense about being successful in life. What did you ever like parameter or parameter? But you were talking to the QM boys yesterday. Talking to QM boys, and I was talking about how before you have a child, this is my experience, you're you want to be successful for yourself. Tied into what I just said about instant kind of, you know, lifelong responsibility, you then have this much greater anchor and motivation. I, no, no, I'm not doing it for myself anymore. I'm going to be successful for you. Mm -hmm. And the to be rooted in that, that's how I felt. I was like, because I, I looked at what I was doing with my life and I'm like, and this is something I'll say. You know, people say, you're never ready for a child. What I will say is, Shindy and I, Married six years ago, 2017. Fantastic kind of six years of exploring, adventuring, holidaying, me going through multiple businesses, doing lots of stuff. At the point where we said, Shins, let's try for a child, it yeah. actually felt really right. So I will say, actually, I'm very thankful for where I am life-wise now, the learnings I've had. There is very little FOMO and regret in my yeah, life. Yeah. Um, and so I feel now the, the things I want to go deep with, podcast, the other things I do, um, it's come at a really good time, but to now be doing it for Ikum, um, is great. And there's, you know, this other thing that people say, I want to, I want to give them everything I didn't have. So I think about that because people say that all the time, but, but you, you I, had, you had a good, yeah, I've a had a very, very good life. Man. So I don't actually think like that. I don't think I'm going to give you more. Well, I want to give you at least the same. Uh, and I'll put this out there now. Actually, you know, I often talk about it. It's, I don't want to fill your life with materialism mm. they come i want to give you experiences experiences yeah, access yeah. to great minds and people that's what i said like all these little hints that we've dropped in the pot up until now like <laughs> i'm not going to give you kid bursty at the door like i'm going to test you out for when mm. you kid wants ice cream i'm going to see these things now and i'm like yes i'm going to see this and i'm going to observe i'll be like doctor deal with this <laughs> and it's interesting man like these first couple of days um you know, when I talk to Ekam, literally, like, uh, you've seen the videos. There's a video I've seen of me the video walking you, around. Yeah, walking around with her. Right. And I think I think when I was trying to put her asleep, I was telling her about recycling and how that works. And we talked about the autumn budget. But then when I took it to the window, you, you heard me talking about Ikigai. Yeah. What are you going to do in the world? How are you going to serve the world? Like, <laughs> He's giving his daughter my emotional speech. From day zero, man. Like, from day one. No, no. But I think, I, see <laughs> that, I think that's the thing. The compounding effect of... Four years old, sitting there, Ekam, baby Ekam. Yeah, daughter Ekam, sitting there at the table. Yeah. You're like, Ekam what is your icky guy? Yeah. And she'll be like, to eat my food. <laughs> I'm a good icky guy. <laughs> to eat my food good. and go to bed on time. <laughs> Excellent. <laughs> but I think, I think that starts early. Uh, and look, just be, my, my whole MO is about being very intentional. I, I take, again, I'm very early in this, but I take the role of a parent and being a dad as a, wow. Very like, serious. Very serious. Very serious. Not, and that seriousness doesn't mean I'm going to be, doesn't mean equal strictness. It means intentionality. You know, like there are things I want to share with you. I want to show you. You're going to have your own experiences. And based on your experiences, you're going to form your own values in the same way I form my values based on the values I was given from my parents, from observation. So I, I am not, under no illusion that you are, will form your, she will form her own based yes. on her own experiences. Can I make one thing clear though? Go on. She ain't touching my feet. Thank you. She's not what? Do you remember how you said whenever, whenever she greets someone, what she goes up to them? What no. No, when we, I said I do that. That's cool. But yeah. I know, I, I know I asked you in the pub, would you let, would you Did have you? your kid do that? And you said yes. To you? Just in general. So like, depends who it is. Elders. Yeah. I'm just saying, don't. please don't. Thank you. It makes okay. me really uncomfortable. Okay. Thank you. You might as well talk about this now. So we've also been having this other side rift discussion. Do you want to talk about it? Which one? Maybe you should talk about it. Which one? About your, you and Sanjay's names. <coughs> Which names? We've commented on this before as well. Oh, for fuck's sake. You might as well. This is All right, hurry up, man, because i got to tell my, my experience of you having a child. Because, oh, you know, <laughs> no. I, I, I had a very good, uh, I had a very good, very high level of input into this child. You, you did, you did. Yes. Go on, tell us, what's, what's your correct name? Listen, I'm Chacha, she's Chachi. There is no conversation on this, all right? You're like, no, no, she is, she is Masi in your Chacha. No, all right? Chacha, Chachi. Bus. I'm Indy, dying Indy, on this. I'm Indy, dying on this hill. Indy feels I am dying on this hill. No one is saying that you're not Jaja. Don't care. No, that's, that's not the that's point. True. She is Jaji. That's it. Jaji. This is no. 
That's it. Everything is equatable. Right. There is no like, no, 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 no. So Same. recently when we were on our staycation, um, we did this. Which more, one? Better yeah. than a few, you know. Yeah, yeah, we, it's good. The most recent one, just up north when we did our yeah, yeah, yeah. podcast planning and stuff. Were the day where we walked past the sheep, looked at the sheep, and he was like, don't look at the sheep in the eyes that day. Yeah. We're coming towards the chip shop. Yeah. Right. Now we had this revelation, all of us, where, and the reason, reason why that does get a bad rep is basically Scar. Scar from The Lion King. What's his, yeah, uh, Mufasa's brother, is the reason why all Tate get a bad rep. There was even one day where Sanj took it a little bit too far. We were all FaceTiming and she went really quiet and we didn't really know why. And she's on the phone looking for something. And basically, what she was looking for is a real, a real lion that looks like Scar. Look at the Scar. And then she found it. It was like, this is Indian. You're like, that's what you've been doing for 15 minutes. <laughs> Remember, your hair was open. Your hair was open. Yeah, because I was dry my hair, wash my right, hair. <laughs> and you, you're like, too far, too far. <laughs> and then me, me and Sanj just sat there like, okay, we need to, he needs like a cool off period, but we don't say anything to him. Yeah, leave me alone. This is a problem. Me and Sanj get together. We feed off each other. Yeah, you can't go from me as often. Even on WhatsApp, I'm like, fuck's sake, can I speak? <laughs> You're like, how, is, how am I getting, what is it? How, how am, I... am I getting roasted right now? <laughs> when I started roasting Karen, how has this come back on me? How? How? <laughs> right. But here's the revelation, right? Harry Potter, who does he stay with in the first one? Four Privet Drive. Who is that? The aunt, aunt Petunia. Yeah. Who is who? His mum's sister, sister. Which is the... That's not Chachi. No, it's Masi. That's what I'm saying. No, yeah, this exactly. is what ruined the whole thing. We yeah, were like, yeah. Masi, Masi are the cooler, closer ones. But then we were like, oh no, that's the evil Masi. Now we got a Scar Chacha, Petunia Masi. And so we, when we were coming towards Chip Shop, we said, we need to write to J.K. Rowling. Yes. I'm like, oh, no, just start to change garden. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that was and so I was funny. like, Garden, what about, Bob, what about Bobby Chacha? How would he feel hearing this? You know? Yeah. How would your judge feel about this, knowing yeah, you that you will not, you will not allow this to happen? Yeah. Yeah. He'll be yeah. very upset. So then, how we, are you going to upset my judge? But we said, <laughs> we said, ja, remember we agreed on Chassi. Who? Chassi. We're not Chassi. Chassi. We're not doing Chassi. It's just Chacha Chachi. Listen, she didn't change her surname. Okay. I accepted that. What? Sorry. She didn't change her who, surname. Who didn't change her name? Sanj. I accepted that. You accepted that, right? Right. It doesn't sound like you're accepting it. I no. I I accepted that. I happily accepted what? that oh, now. What Many years later, I, I'm happily <laughs> accepting it. However, bro, I said, I how said, long have you I said, how long have you married? Two years. Uh, I said, many years later. <laughs> that's many years. <laughs> Anything more than one is many. Okay. <laughs> okay. I've uh, accepted this. Okay. Fine with it. Okay. But in return, but accept your role as Jachi. She's accepted it as Tai with some of my other friends. I'm like, accept Jachi. You've accepted Mummy. Accept Jachi. What's wrong with this? Okay. I've accepted Masr. Accept Jachi. All right, all right. Let's say she accepts it. When she accepts it. Okay. All right, NLP. It's good about NLP. That's future pacing. Mm. Masi versus Jachi. Mm. Not Sanj, but in general. Mm. What's your feeling on that? What do you mean? Which Rishta tends to be closer and cooler? Yeah. Current. Do you know? I'm not saying you're asking a banda who doesn't yeah. get on with this. Cha-cha-cha-chi. All <laughs> oh, right. Okay. So then you agree? No, it doesn't mean I agree. It doesn't you mean agree? That all, no, it means that we are the cycle breakers. That's what it means. We're gonna break this up. We're gonna be As the. You're cool gonna be a good cha 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 Now, good cha What I will say is, for all this bump he gives about he's a great cha cha, on the same staycation while walking around, he has knowledge of what we're gonna call our daughter. So Shindy's obviously still pregnant at this point. He goes, Yeah, yeah, I'll play with Ikrub. <laughs> Excuse me. I said, I said, wait, who's Ikrup? Because I don't know Ikrup. And then he was coined DC Chacha. Dickhead. DC, <laughs> dickhead Chacha. I was like, I'll take it if she's Chachi. Okay. Yeah. I was like, you call me Scar Chacha, she's Scar Chachi. She's GC. Saying? Yeah. GC. Can we reveal what GC is? GC. GC. What's GC? Yeah. What, does, what does Sanjay do? What's her secret uh, second life? GC. Jip. GC. Jip. Oh, can we say it? Or not say no, it? you can't. No, we can't. No, say no, it. It's no. fine. So leave your DC is his GC. Yeah, yeah. We'll leave, 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 leave that. Leave that. Out, yeah, when we're on Patreon, <laughs> we'll Patreon level, it. if you ask us in person, we'll tell you what the yes. story is. Right? Okay. Right. Go on. Go when on. you had my niece, you were telling <laughs> us. Your own issue. When you had, had my niece, niece, yeah, we were like messaging you guys in the run up because we're obviously <laughs> like very invested in this now. So we're thinking, me and Sanj, is everything okay? There is a like, level where Sanj is like in my Google, majority in the Google calendar. <laughs> when we're going for scans, mm. Sanj is like she she's got the invite. Invite. She knows it's happening. Yeah, yeah. She's following up. Like yes. they are genuinely 
yes involved. involved like the day of contractions we're going to dinner we're having contractions we're bringing these guys you were going gym or shopping or something you yeah intimate. yeah so yeah they're involved yeah so on the saturday when everything's kicking off with you guys you're like yeah we're going back to hospital cool no saturday we're in hospital friday, saturday, friday, night, in we're hospital. Down. friday night we spoke to you on the phone you did. and then saturday daytime didn't hear from you i think you said we've gone to hospital yeah, yeah, i was yeah, like yeah. all right sweet for six hours oh. this man disappeared on me and i was sitting there thinking yeah is everything okay yeah and then i thought do not message him leave him alone and sanj said to me indy leave him alone i said but sanj are they okay and she uh, said indy if they're okay they've got their family i said but sanj yeah we are their family <laughs> anyway <laughs> so so oh. sanj is calming me down i'm like okay fine and i go through this like catastrophization in my head yeah. and i'm like what if something bad's happened mm-hmm. like is she okay mm-hmm. is baby okay mm-hmm. is everything all right wait, so wait, for wait, like wait. an hour wait wait is gun okay you are not important in this moment. <laughs> you are not important in this straight. moment. It is all about those shit, man. Doesn't think about okay. a podcast partner. <laughs> so I'm fine. like, all right, all right, fine. Yeah. I'll let him respond. I'll let him come to me. For an hour, I'm trying to work and I cannot focus. I am. What time is this? I'm struggling like about six, six-ish. 6 p.m.? Yeah. Okay. Okay, yeah. Because I mean, baby's here at 5.19. Yeah, yeah. So, but obviously but, we but you about messaged like about like eight. Yeah, yeah. yeah saying, yeah. That's when I was, she's here, everything's that fine. That photo. Yeah, yeah. When I'm holding. Yeah. I was like, I was messaging And you said like, everything's okay Ekam's here we're good i'm like thank god. when yeah. you told me i was like relief. oh thank god i felt yeah, so yeah, relieved my yeah. mood lifted immediately and i went back to work yeah. and i was like good i can now focus i can get shit done but i was so scared yeah, then this yeah. coined an analogy on my side i've okay. thought about this i really hope it sticks sticks <clears throat> yes okay doctor had a baby i've written on here doctor had a baby the tension from my side i created an airport analogy Okay. So, having a baby is yeah. like going to the airport. Having a baby is like going to the airport. Yes. Okay. Contractions have started, which means the plane has taken off. Yep. 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 There is turbulence. You're going into labor and pushing. Yep. Landed, baby has arrived. Yep. Luggage arrival and collection, baby is safe and well. Why don't they have this for baby arrivals in real life? What do you mean? When a baby arrives, why don't they just treat it as if it's like a a plane service where it's like departure, arrival, baggage has been collected, everything is smooth. That no. way we on Sorry, the outside... No, I don't understand how... That how, way we on the outside... Not, how do they not do that already? Huh? How do they not... Are you on about communication? Please, I'm being genuinely serious. If they made an arrivals board at the hospital with babies... Oh, I see saying, your point. This is what's happening. The oh, baby's here, arrived, oh. done. And they updated a website or, something, you, you or like a to, private website. Do you want me to give you the word, the reason why? Why? It's called confidentiality. Yes, I know that. <laughs> <laughs> That's why I'm saying. That's why I'm saying. It has to be like a select private, family one. Oh, a private family okay, one. Okay. Yeah, where you can see it. So we have this thing in the hospital where say you say you ring mm. and you want to know some medical stuff about me. They'll say, right, do you know the safe word? And if yes. you have the safe word. Yeah, if you know the safe word, so word. Then you yes. have access. So, so you so want that, like a private... If, if they have, if they coin this, I'm telling you, this is a million pound idea. I swear to God, if someone did this, you'd save a lot of people a lot of hassle. <laughs> Arrived. Yes, you'd save people a lot of hassle. Yeah. 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 And I'm like, okay, we just know that everyone's safe and good. You don't have to message us. You don't have to rush around and tell people. Yeah, like yeah, yeah, you yeah. even told me when you were telling your family, you were just super efficient. Like baby here, Shindy is fine. Bye. And then you were like, I need to go and attend yeah. stuff. I look, I look at that message now. And, uh, and it looks soulless. Because still was yes, yeah. stuff was still happening, but it was it was literally uh, here comes here, or baby here can't talk, don't ring. It was, it was one of those messages. Yeah, of course, of course. Yeah. It's like leave me the fuck alone. I need to deal with stuff. But yeah. you just need to. Yeah, yeah. yeah. But it's mm. yeah. I just wish something like that was ready and sorted, so we just knew, and then you could do your thing. And I'm like, she's good. Everything's fine. No mm. problems. Everything's good. So the baby analogy, luggage arrivals, whatever, landing, takeoff. People will do what you want with it. Tell me how it's wrong. Comment below. Tell me whatever. I thought that was brilliant when I came up with that. I, like and I was it. like, done. Sorted. I, I, I like it. And yeah, one thing I will say when you come around to this is when contractions start, mm. because you have these what we call fake contractions, Braxton Hicks, you have no reference point. Yes. So you actually don't know what are real contractions. Yes. Right. And this whole thing about obviously you push when you're 10 centimeters. Mm. When you're at home and say you're contracting the real contraction, there's no way of you knowing how many centimeters you are. So unless you've been examined, so, I mean, the, the Friday, so we spoke Thursday, we went for dinner. 
that tally and that was our last date night mm. that's when we rang you on the yeah, way yeah. we spoke to you afterwards friday shindy's working i've got gym session four to five pt jamie shindy's like i'll come with you anyway i'm near you mm. she's having something something's happening right we get to the gym shindy does a session squats lunges proper session mm. we're near new cross she's popping like say look you know we're going to be coming here this is our planned hospital can you can we can you examine this basically went there he said oh yeah you're two and a half well done mm. so at that point in my head i'm like okay she started you need to get to 10 remember 10 is a magic number the magic numbers in in centimeter in dilation are basically get once you get to four you know what we call active labor one to one k you should be in hospital mm. 10 baby mm. should be coming out now mm. take a two and a half i'm like oh we get another probably two three days friday she said if i'm honest i think you guys are gonna be back in tonight was not ready for that mm. i mean everything was there but whatever reason i was like my head wasn't yeah i got time i got time i got a couple do, more do you know good nights taking me you know who called it kenny who kenny kenny what called it, it. what did so, he say so no kenny was like um so it was bundy short divas on the sunday yeah yeah he's coming on the weekend he's like baby's coming saturday Kata, he'd already said it like yeah. a week two weeks before yeah baby came saturday and you were all like can get Ekam come on saturday so everyone can come and see her yeah. time off work yeah yeah all the family all, can no, be there everyone's forward, available yeah. you know? all, all our, we activate all our agents so in, in the, it's very funny in the build up to this me being the optimizer so I had a you know labor group mm. so uh, Shindy um, Shindy says Rupa's in there Meher Kenny they're all in there right and before like I've already put like here's a hospital here's where you park all the information this is the ward here are the restaurants like everything's in there already and then I even did like test messages before like one day I put a message I can't remember what it was and Meher rang me like, or oh, from full caps, like, is this real or are you just testing? <laughs> and I was like, I'm just testing. And he was like, okay. And then, but when I activated my agents that day, Rupa was at her in-laws. Bang, she came. Meher, so Meher's a counselor. She was, it was, remember, 11th of uh, November, her birthday is Armistice Day. Mm. So she was laying a wreath. Mm. And literally rang Kenny because Meher was, it was busy tone. And Kenny put the window and goes, Meher, put that down. We need to go. <laughs> <laughs> and then bang. They're in the car. So all my agents are activated. Yeah, yeah. Um, and that was it, man. Uh, <laughs> but yeah, so you don't, you don't know what are real contractions. Mm, you, mm. you just don't know, man. So just, I said to, I said to one of my other friends as well, I was like, you know, you just, you just don't know. There you go. Just, now you know. There you go. No, now you, now know, you, know. you know. If you don't know, now you know. Yeah, man. Doctor... We'll go to the next segment. We'll save a lot of these stories for the coming weeks. Yeah. Like we'll, we'll we'll drip feed some stuff in. I feel like it will be a nice way to not just dominate the podcast for this because major events have happened and we need to discuss it. Yes. Let's go. Hanji Paji. Hanji Paji. Well, the question is, if there's plural budgies, Good one, one, two, one, two. Right, okay. So let's just kick it off. Let's just add this bit in. What's the plural of budgie? It's not what you think. So I thought it's Bajia. So when you guys asked me in that, in that thing, I realized first I didn't respond to you straight away. And then... Yeah, because you haven't got time anymore, bro. <laughs> yeah, that, that's part of it. It's like it's like a filter now. I'm like, is this like a, an hour job or not an hour job? This can wait until I'm back to sleep, it. basically. Yeah. yeah, yeah. And so... I want to ask mom. And I was like, or if you're at work. <laughs> work. <laughs> she assumes I have just endless time at work. <laughs> you know, in, in these thing is, when he sees me hyper optimizing like optimizing things that we, we you know stuff we need to optimize but now i'm just doing all of them like the smallest like nth detail thing he's like he's got time and then when he sees that private message outside of our podcast group yeah can you just do this this and this Cause i know like you're not doing any work and I'm like, okay do you know what i know what it is i, I know i know you know <laughs> the other day yeah. you were talking to me and you said indy indy uh you sent like some voice notes back and you were in the car and i was like He's driving, man. He's free. So I called you. I was like, yo, what's up? Oh, yeah. I was going <laughs> for it. I was, going, I was, I was like, just, was just I was like how you doing? Yeah, and you're like, yeah, yeah. yeah, good. And then I had like a 10 minute chat with you. And I was like, I feel better now I've spoken to you. <laughs> I know it's selfish of me, but I was like, I felt like you yeah, wanted it as well. But yeah, man, I know you have pockets of time. And I'm like, I know you're free. So just do just, just do, do this. this yeah. This if you've got time to crack a joke in that group. Then yeah, then I'm like, oh, should I not say anything? Private <laughs> private message, private message, like, just... Indies, um, what I will say, one of the jobs I did you guys is that now we're, uh, we'll talk about this later, we're at a significant level in terms of following that we can accept. Monet for the reels. So oh, yeah, that, that took a long time. Like, you know, you sent that, you sent the screen recording, it was really helpful. But actually the steps after that took me like 20 minutes because you have to like tax forms, it's all America. I don't live in the US. Like I had to do all this stuff, provide evidence. All yeah. This shit. Anyway, yeah. got it done. So guys, 
If you enjoy, we know you enjoy. You know, like a school when you're school and you had that um, non-uniform day. Yes, you had to do a donation. One pound. One pound. Sare ko one pound the hega. To see, ten thousand bande watch our reels minimum, na. Ten thousand bande ne ek pound deta. Eda the life. And all money gets reinvested back into, into the production. Into the podcast, huh? The, your viewing experience. Your um, what did somebody say to us recently? You guys are a comfort podcast. You're that, that comfort yeah, that's nice, man. Oh, that's nice. so nice. Super I was nice. like, you know, in the, in the world where everything sometimes is too serious and too like woke, mm. sometimes you want to know which the which part of the tali key is going to go in. That's a very yeah. important thing, <laughs> right? Like it's important, right? We, we also talk about serious. What's stuff. the plural of budgies, man? Bring it coming back. back to that. Yeah, I don't know. I just, I've missed. Pod- I've, off, missed I've missed. I need podcasting. to pull you. Back I in. have missed. I need to rein you back in, yeah. mate. Yeah. So ask Kenny, ask Mom, and I was like, and everyone thought about it for a while. Bajia is used. Is it? Is used, but I don't think it's actually right. It's one of those slangs where people use it and you kind of, people know what you're saying. So, I made a Bajia Agi. Like, my Bajis are here. But, so, Bajis, that's one that people use as well. But that's in, that's yeah, anglicized. Yeah, exactly, exactly. Like with the S. Yeah. So, so Kenny's feeling was. Because everything in Punjabi was, is it with an S? There's like an R uh, at the end. Yeah. Like. Made a Jia. Yeah, but that's a really good one. Right, look at you, so excited. So that's that. That one is correct. What's what's the problem of prone? The prone, see prona, prona, prone. There you go. See, see, yeah, yeah, there, yeah, there, there. prona, prone. So I don't think paji. So it's not def- so pajia gets used. Pajis is understood, but it's, yeah, again, not right. So Kenny was like, there isn't. It's just paji is a singular word. And so when you talk about multiple brothers, you could say mere vire, mere pra. Mm. It's difficult, but. I think Punjabi's at a point now where people understand what you're trying to say, so nobody really questions. Yeah, what yeah, the correct... but it's, it's good to know the correct grammatical Punjabi. Yeah. So, so yeah, Hanji Paji. There we go. Hanji. Right, next bit. That's all you. And keep this quick. <laughs> right, have you seen this clip online? I have seen. Let's start it again. Wait there, there, there. But I haven't seen it for a while. Let's so start it again. It. Okay, so Air India doing a madness. I'm gonna turn the volume all the way. Uchi. Uchi. Ready? I think. Two thousand twenty-three. The mad thing is, Karen. It's two thousand and twenty-three. When you look at this video, yeah. I feel depressed looking at the, the video. The people look so dookie. The people look so unhappy on yeah. that flight. What I will say is, I think whoever's recording, I don't, the people being recorded, I'm, I'm not sure that they're aware they're being recorded. Number one, right? So fair play. Of course, the half of them are asleep. Yeah, yeah. And like when you're on a plane, like this is probably the overnight flight to India. You're tired, isn't it? Like you're out, you think so. Fine, I get that. But the, yeah, they generally look dookie. Mm. Here in India, like it doesn't matter who you talk to, generally people's experience of India is never good. It's diabolical. And historically. But I know, I know soon they are the whole fleet is all changing, they're having new planes and everything. Don't give a change. shit. Yeah, yeah. But then you see stuff like that and you're like, bro, it's like God, the which you know, tutti, you know, tutti means broken. Tutti is tap. Oh, tutti. Oh, tutti. You're saying tutti. that's broken. Yeah, yeah. Tutti is like tutti tight kar de. Oh. Tighten the tutti, Interesting. Okay. The pipe in it. Um, but tap specifically. It's like, it's not one though. It's, it's You're watching it and you're like, me better. Everything is raining me through. Better. Like, and you're watching, you're like, how is this possible? Where is the pani coming from? You just can't comprehend what you're how saying. How is it allowed? Yeah, yeah. Like, and then I'm thinking like the guy making it, like, so obviously those seats are kali, aren't they? But a plane has finite space. So where are you putting this? Like, where are the other people? Probably that, that, cancel flight for them. I, I don't know. And was it happening in business? That's the other question. That didn't look like business class. No, that wasn't. I'm saying, but is, is this something that's an economy problem? Have they diverted it all to economy? And like, make sure you think there's fine? business class in Air India? There is. I know. Because mama, mama comes in. There's no first class. There's business. Is there actually? Yeah. What comes in the business class in there? So Do they have screens? Yeah, yeah, personal screens, much bigger seats, too. Okay, it's not there's just... no screens in those economy seats. You look, you're like, there's no screens there. Air India economy is, you have the shared screen in the middle, isn't it? Like, I, I, the I don't know. That's what it used to be. I can't remember. No, I think it, uh, I've been a while. I, I got BA now. I, because of American Express. I'm but... not going to lie. I I just, I refuse to board with Air India. Yeah, they yeah. are the new Turkmenistan Airways for me. <laughs> Genuinely, they are they are that level of bottom of the barrel airlines. Historically, the reason why people chose, choose Air India, you know the reason? Because it's a direct flight to Amritsar. That's, that's why. Or Delhi. 
So and it goes from Birmingham. I know. He got there. Did you know it's cheaper to go from London, London than it is yeah, to Birmingham? Yeah, 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 yeah. Exactly. And then people don't think about that now. And it, even for Europe flights now, when we look to go to like Greece or Rome, Italy and stuff, Luton, man. Luton or Stansted, like it or doesn't... Or Manchester. Or Manchester, money, money. Birmingham is expensive. Yes. Uh, and do you know how much a taxi costs from my house to Birmingham Airport? £45. Yeah, so if you think return, it's it's not cheap. How can you think? Forty five pounds. Like, yeah, Birmingham Jana. So menga. I'm like, I'm not believe my good either. But you have family here that can drive. Yeah, you. yeah, exactly. But yeah. no, you can get a lift. Getting a lift in Birmingham, Garden, as we have discussed many times, yeah, is quite commonplace. It is commonplace, but in London, I it's feel, like do it yourself, bro. I feel, bro, if I'm getting like a six a.m. flight and I need to be at three a.m., I'm not asking mom and dad to take me. That's the difference. No, I am. <laughs> Listen, I've done many humble benties from my dad in the past. Yeah. Right. They can drive me to the airport at that time in the morning. Oh, let's hold them. My dad's for it, man. He loves it. He loves it. Okay. Loves it. I mean, the, the Chronicles of CSK. Are My dad's that guy, man. He loves it. CSK. He loves that drive like in the morning. I heard a rumor about CSK. Huh? I heard a rumor about CSK. What, what rumor you heard about my dad? I heard he's he's going on another mission soon. He's planning a mission. We're probably going to get on one of them flights to Air India, bro. That's what's going to happen, right? <laughs> Wait, he's, if he was on that flight, he'd be having words with the pilot. And I, the, the I, I said to dad, who's in the video, he yeah. said... And the best come. I was you know, like, yeah, yeah. Good day, Fali. Yeah, near enough. <laughs> yeah, near enough. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, recap, recap, recap. Them up. Recap. India, I'm going to give them a. Lapper. Oh, sorry. First one. Tapper. And a. Lapper. Yeah. That's it, buddy. Ta, ta. Oh, I asked that about the shatter, shatter. He said, he said, shatter is like slang. You do say it, but you shouldn't say it. I said, okay, thank so you. So, what did he say about shatter? Huh? He said, he said it is correct. However, he said, but Shatter is like, I said, Dad, you've said Shatter to me. He's like, <laughs> I don't think so. And the funny yeah, thing yeah. is, when Dad's lying, he won't admit it. He starts laughing. I'm like, I've caught you out Mid here. Mid sentence. I've, I've caught you out here. Really? So he'll yeah. be like, the thing is, no, like, no, 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 no. He'll be like, he'll start laughing. He's like, no, 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 no. And I'm like, there you go. There you go, mate. <laughs> but yeah, Air India flights. Uh, can we just agree to fucking boycott Air India because they are a disgusting airline? Guys, you make India pay his on there. Reinvest that much money in your planes, man. These lot are fleecing. Yeah, no, I mean, look, people gone, to gone, India. One of the days where India, you could do like a three hundred pound flight. No, you easy, man. Like towards a thousand pound, eight hundred, seven hundred. Yes. minimum, man. Minimum. Yes, right. Even if you're going like non-direct, direct, it's all men now. It's ungodly. And I just sit there and think <clears throat> the poor people that just went through, they probably went through a travel agent and that yeah. agent booked them on that flight yeah. because they're not directing it. They're not directing Chow, it. Travel. They're, they're not booking it direct. My dad doesn't book his flights through online. He books it through travel agents agent. yeah. and they sort him out with like a ticket and it's like a flex ticket so he can move his ticket around when he wants. CSK that's needs, why he does CS, it. But CSK needs that. But that's why he does it because he's like, oh, I can move the date for when I want to come back. I'm like, oh, okay. Which cool. means he's going to extend Which it. means he's going to extend, extend it. Yeah, 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 yeah definitely. Yeah, yeah. And you get like two extensions yeah, yeah, yeah. or whatever. Yeah, that's exactly that's what happened. Yes. It was, it was a, On birthday. my 30th birthday, yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Yes. He wasn't oh, No, we did a FaceTime with your dad? Yeah, we did FaceTime. Or well, your mum made a video. We made a video. Must he made a video. And oh, we FaceTimed that, him. That was so funny, yeah. No, no, no. We FaceTimed him like, like two seconds. Then we're like, okay, you're not here now, bye. And then we hung up and made him feel bad. I was like, there you go. I remember because we're in your kitchen. And uh, you've got quite a mix of friends, right? So we have some Punjabi, non Punjabi yes, friends. Did. Yes, anyway. We're did. all sitting like in the, it's like um, a U shape. Yes, it is. And then you, your mum came and uh, said, uh, everyone say hello to Mr. Keller. Yeah. And then she went round and uh, some people didn't know what to do in it, like what, what to say, whatever. It's like the cameraman at the yeah. wedding. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 That's eating, exactly what it is. Eating food. Hello, Cheers, mum. Yeah yeah, 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 yeah. It's really funny, man. Super awkward. Thanks, yeah. mum. Appreciate that. It's good. It's good. It's good. Yeah. So yeah, man. Air India, sack them off. Stop going with them. Disgusting airline. Leave them alone. Genuinely, if we stop funding these crappy airlines, they won't exist. Economy it's very there. simple. Either they start improving their service, which they should, or they go under. It's real simple. It's just basic economics. But they've struck up all these deals with all these different agents and they know that that's going to work for them. Mm. Now, by them taking this step, obviously by improving their fleet in the future, when we stop going through agents, when we start aging out, because we're going to be technologically advanced, I guess you could say enough advanced. to book our own ticket Direct, yeah. and to look around and understand the hacks, mm. they've got to change their shit up. And it made me so happy when Turkmenistan Airways went under. 
during, during lockdown. Have they gone? They've gone completely. Oh, right. And they went under in lockdown. And that made me really warm inside because they were a horrible airline. Hmm. Food poisoning, leaving you abandoned at Ashgabat Airport. No updates on no updates on anything related <laughs> to a delay. You tweet them, they won't tweet back. They write a random update, like all this stuff. And I'm thinking, <sighs> you lot just take the piss. Everything, you have no shame. Everything is hunky dory. Everything is not hunky dory. Yeah, Everything is horrible. Yeah. Ball ache. Yeah. Not not nice. Yeah. But look, if you've not experienced that journey, man, that journey was the one. That man. journey was the worst journey Akshabha, in the world. Akshabha, you come back feeling way worse Akshabha, um, after that flight. You'd always get there at like really early hours in the morning, right? Yes. All the security guards, guns. You go into this room, the holding area before you board the second flight, and there's nothing. I remember there's one counter that maybe had ice cream. So the couple of the three memories I have are the one counter, nothing else you can do. There's no duty free, there's no card corner. Guys with guns. Ganya in the in the bathroom f- doing full gear sis <laughs> Like two, three o'clock in the morning, like clean the darling and I was going in there to do susu. Um, me playing cricket with a tennis ball and then getting told by the guy. You can't do that. No. No fun. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, <laughs> no fun. fun here. No, no fun. fun. No, no, do like... not bring color to this environment. It is gray. Everything oh. gray. Okay. And you feel like you've gone back in time. Like it, it yeah. feels like you're in Bonica too. Yeah. Um, so yeah, the second many times. What have India said? Nothing. Not that I can see. The exact, the exact. Yeah, um, go, on, go on to the Twitter. See if they've uh, said anything. They released a statement or something. Or? The caption on this was. Yeah. Uh, what was it? English. It was Air India. Fly with us. It's not a trip. It's an immersive experience. That was really witty. That's pretty good. Forty in it. <laughs> Very witty. Uh, let me type in Air India. Actually, go on. Carry on talking. Let me look. Sorry, guys. I got out of Air India. When did I go? So I went with BA last time. I went in February to India. This Very clip nice has experience. gone everywhere, actually. <laughs> this is quite bad. Start oh. leaking mid-flight. Imagine that starts leaking in the middle of the air. I would start praying to every god possible. Right? I'd be like, pray to mine. Is there a Hindu Bundle here? Pray to yours. Is there a Muslim Bundle here? Getting... Pray to Allah. Is yeah. there a Christian here? Pray to your God. Is there... Yeah. I, I, I want to cover all bases because yeah, at that yeah. point, I'm thinking, this is going to cave in on my head and I'm done. Why yeah. is there Barney leaking? I'm above that, the clouds. Uh... I'm above the clouds. Why is there water leaking onto yeah, my yeah. head? Your question Onto is... my bug. Onto my butterfly. What's going on? Barney Katwari. That's your question. Yes. Right? You're right. Like we obviously watch the video now and obviously the flight's landed and it's, it's fine. But if, you, if it's happening to you, you don't know what's causing it. And yeah, your thing would be, is the plane going down? Yeah. Although, I mean, everyone in that video seems pretty chilled. No, going. Everyone in that in that video is half asleep, or they're yeah. just sitting there like. So I wonder. I I just want to get there. I wonder what the announcement would have been. There probably wasn't one. Kripa Kripa DJ. There isn't one. Aapke upar, bhani aaya. Karan Air India have not commented on this at all on their Twitter. They've just blanked it. They've just moved on. Experience a new. <laughs> Oh my god new partner announcement hashtag new partner announcement experience a plush and soothing retreat far from your daily hustle and bustle with our new partner rose estate hotels sorry yeah rose rose estate hotel what they have no shame a boeing 7478 from ground up drop a heart if you love this capture image credits from these guys the aviation topics <laughs> wow Oh, here you go. Someone tweeted me. Someone commented for me. Traveled on this flight. Yeah. You need high-level maintenance from the inside. The screens don't work. Touch is too slow. Entertainment system needs an upgrade. The trays and tables are not aligned. Seat cloth is wearing off. This is not Tata, so please. <laughs> there you go. Dear sir, they commented back. We are constantly working yeah. on improving your experience. Right. We deliver to our guests. Right. However, your feedback is vitally necessary. Is what our- is it? vitally necessary right. for our further betterment in service we will try our best to serve you better in the near future your your kindly your best your best wishes air india air india yes. we've run out of captions we didn't have that bit yeah it's 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 crazy man mm. how do you get away with this mm. they don't give a shit about you they don't give a shit about you don't give a shit about them Look, move you on pay, you pay the money you're going to complain. How long are you going to hold that grudge? You're going to take him to court? You're going to do something? You're going to lobby to have the changes made? No, you're like, you just move on. You're like, I won't book it again. So they know that. If they weather the storm, that's it. Crazy. Great. There you go. There you go. Hopefully this uh, clip gets Exposure. To people and the exposure Show this out. to Air India, man. I'm like, Look, I'm going to say recently. If I catch my dad flying with Air India, I'm like, if, you, if that plane does not come back, it's your fault. That's what I'm going to say to him now. I'm like, yeah, it's your fault. You're like, shit though. I'm not going to slap my dad. No, no, no. 
Hvad det mener <laughs> I'm saying CSK needs to say to them Det er nej højere CSK ikke shit to <laughs> And you uh-huh. send You send the size of my dad's hands Big, big hands man Big hands, big hands. Big hands. When, I, when I went around that time When he wasn't sure Which one of I was Yes Me and Raj and, Yes And just, just to let everyone know I know on this camera I look very tall right <laughs> I am five foot four He is sure I, I am obviously <laughs> I'm obviously very sure as well um, But thank you to all the people Who think You're not the first To say that Shindy's work people Often say that I'm sure Jazz is six foot I'm sure, sure Jazz is six foot I'm like Have you seen me and Shindy Side by side You know what height Shindy is yeah, yeah Okay Yeah But I, I think it's the presence mm-hmm. The Higal Lena Presence man yeah. Presence Higal Yeah, yeah. But yeah, yeah. So t- that day, y- your dad's tall, and I think he was just saying hello, and he, he went like, he gave me like a tap in the middle of the chest. Like he's give- there's this thing called the precordial thump, yes. which is like you know you have um, chest compressions. Yes. But there's this thing if you hit 50 uh, hertz of frequency, like on the chest, you can actually restart the heart. It's very hard to know that <laughs> most people don't do it. It's called that's precordial. A, that's thump. some like proper karate chop stuff. No, man. it's like Thor, Thor, and Thor's hammer, and it going down like that, right? And so your dad kind of did this thump. And I was like, whoa. He was like, his hand is big, man. Yeah. I didn't, I didn't realize. I knew your dad was tall, but until he, he he was like right next to me doing that, I was like, yo, big man. CSK hands big, man. Mm. Very big. Val today, same hands as your dad. Big hands, yeah, yeah. yeah. I saw it and I was like. I got mum's hands. Yeah. You had, yeah, yeah. <laughs> They were side hands. by side. And I was like, ha, ah, yeah, Val's hands are big. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. I was like, yeah, I don't know. It's like big cool. hands, man. So there you go. That's that. Last question. What is a Punjabi breakfast? This is interesting, isn't it? Um, First off, the word for b- b- breakfast in Punjabi is. Yeah, you said this. I mean, I knew the word you were going to say. Nashta. But I thought I'm in my head. I'm thinking it's Hindi. You should check it. Check it and check check Hindi word and check Punjabi word. It might be the same word. Let's see. <sighs> okay, hang on. Hindi word. word for breakfast. Breakfast. <laughs> you. Nashta. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So no, I'm right there. But what's the Punjabi? It might be the same. Punjabi word for breakfast. Punjabi Where's breakfast, it? Birmingham, then the Punjabi word for breakfast. Did you Google Translate now? Oh, hang on. Punjabi word for breakfast. Nashta. It's the okay. same. Right, Jotiga. So it's the same word. Um, the question was, what constitutes a Punjabi breakfast? This is interesting. So I think my first thought goes to when I go to somewhere like Haveli in India. Mm. And then I'll off. Have you seen the videos of Haveli in India? Why are you ruining experiences? So I saw somebody yeah. share a reel on Haveli in India showing it. Just rats everywhere, bro. Which Haveli though? Huh? Which Haveli? It just said Haveli. I That's don't know fine. where. Do you need to check which That's one? That's fine, but it just it just showed rats like in the grills, everything. And I they're just sh- cooking around them. I can show you rats in McDonald's. That's fine. But that, I know, that I know, fucks just, me. It does. That's, that's not good. <laughs> rats in McDonald's, have you seen that? <laughs> <laughs> I, was like, I was like, bro... <laughs> okay, you, you released it to here, like Free Palestine. I don't think you're helping the cause. Like, if you want to sit down and you want to share your opinions and voice, you know, why Palestine should be free and the reasons and the history, fine. No, I know that. Get then... some to here and then spray painting them in the colors of Palestine, but Arlo McDonald. And the funny thing was, the one, so the one we store was at Star City. I was like, bro. I've been to that, Mackie's. It's all Muslim management. <laughs> I don't know who, who you trying to do. Was right. you trying to in, in the clip, the guy's like, he calls him after, he's like, yes, yes, bro. Everything good. And the guy's like, yeah, yeah. All good, man, all good. Yeah, yeah, they've, um, they've closed it down. Yeah, yeah, you close it down. Everyone outside. They're like, yeah, yeah. He said, good. Mission accomplished. <laughs> yeah, Mission he's accomplished. on the phone. He's like, pass some free now. I was like, no. <laughs> like, I'm like, he's, what are you doing, What are you man? doing, man? Um, oh, it's so crazy, back, man. Come back to that. a village then, yeah. So, Because I went there in February. I went there when I was in India. Uh, we were coming back from Mandarsab to Chandigarh and we went to a village in the morning. Great. And I had... Shindi had dosa, so you can have dosa. Uh, I had paranta. Okay. So I had paneer and paranta. Uh, so I think paranta definitely would feature as part of breakfast, a Punjabi breakfast. I thought paranta is essential as well, yeah. Yeah. Uh, dahi. Be, yeah, obviously paranta with whatever you want, yeah. So either you can have a char chutney, you can have a dahi. Uh, oh, shole patore is also considered a breakfast. Punjabi breakfast. Yeah. You can have his lunch. Shole patore is anytime. Universal, any time of day. Anytime. Breakfast, lunch, Snack, dinner. snook, every time. But breakfast, you can definitely have it as like well. I'm a murder of Pudore right now, man. Yeah. Good enough. In your shole, do you have the onions or not? Onions? Oh, you see, you haven't lived, man. So you have your shole or chane. Mm. And then you get the... Gande. I love how we said it at the same time. Piaz. You get the <laughs> red onions. You yeah. chop, slice it up really fine. Put that in there. Game changer. Raw. Yeah. 
game changer. Wait, wait, raw as it served in, in the bowl to you, you then put them on top. No, no, they bring it to you. But it's raw. But, they're, not, but they give you the raw onions on the side, you just tip it in. No, no, no it's done. Mm, it's already ready. As if it's cheese, like it's, on top. Yeah, yeah, like, yeah exactly. Like, um, what do you Mozzarella. call it? Parmesan. Oh, no, Parmesan, yeah, Parmesan. yeah, yeah. So it's already on there, but have shole with piaz and then have your uh, putule or puri or whatever you want and oh, game changer. So dosa is obviously a South Indian dish, so not technically Punjabi. Yes, yeah, so obviously the main thing is going to be paronte, shole, putule. Obviously this country, we have other things like, you know, cereal, ande, unde, whatever. But um, yeah, why? What do you think? I just thought it's brote. And that's it. I remember I've probably said this in the pod already, but Godwara <laughs> first thing in the morning, going to school, you have that brota, you roll it up, and you just bite into Sorry, it. Sorry, what? You used to go Godwara preschool? Sometimes my dad would take me, be like, I was like, fine. And then he Before say, school? then he say, you hungry? Oh, I was you like, I'm not hungry. He you said, he said, he said, have, 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 have a brota. How have you got time for that? No, no. He used to factor in like a 15 minute window. He would like, oh, all right, you. we're going to go, go there. And then he said, just have it, roll it up as if it's like a burrito. Yeah. Oh. And then just bite it no, in the car and have it. I still eat bronte that way. The yeah. day, the, some days I remember in med school, I was doing like, training all day. My mom made methyl bronte. See, methyl bronte is unique because methyl bronte, my feeling is, are the only bronte you could have without day. Mm. Alu ali bronte, paneer ali bronte, you must have with day or sabji. Whereas methyl bronte, a bit of butter, rolled up. Bam, done. Like, Oh, light work. How many brontes do you have in one sitting? I haven't had brontes in years, man. Whoa. Bro, years. You mean, yeah, I haven't had them in years. You've been deprived, man. No, it's just too heavy for me to have. Like, no, I have no, it and no. I feel so like... No, 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 no. Wait, wait. Where, where are you having these brontes? Home. So then how the heavy, man? Mum makes alu brontes. Yeah, they don't have to be heavy. Alu brontes are heavy. Shall I tell you some movie? Alu brontes are so heavy, you can't even lift it up. Okay, it depends how you're making it. I got introduced something recently. So good. In the mixture of making the paranta, avocado. Oh my god. It's you can't comprehend it. Somebody made it for us. And we Hang were, on. How? In the mixture. It's it's in there. It's made in the mixture. But when you're trying to conceptualize it, you can't. And then she made it. And Did I she essentially to, make it into like guac? Gosh, and yeah, then yeah, put yeah. it in. So good. Mm. Like, I'm like, you got my freight, uh, my freight, you got my mate ramen, spam tata. And I'm like, bro, I don't know what you're doing, man. What um pop, not pop. <laughs> what kind of weird stuff you're doing? Yeah, yeah. Um, but avocado le bronte, yo. And this made us look up. I said to Kenny, I was like, what's a Punjabi word for avocado? <laughs> right. And uh, avocado. 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 And basically we got to this point where somebody commented on this where if something isn't uh like native to Punjab, then actually there wouldn't be a Punjabi word for it. That yes. makes a lot of sense. Because you looked up um Someone asked us what's Brussels sprouts I'm having an argument. Your dad had the best with, answer. CSK with my the best parents. answer. What do you say? Banda Gobi. No. That's that's the cabbage thing. Nikki Gobi. Oh, Nikki Gobi. Nikki Gobi. Yeah, yeah, Nikki oh, Gobi. That's so good. Oh, Nikki Gobi. Nikki Gobi. Nikki Gobi. Yeah, yeah. 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 <laughs> like Banda sprout, Gobi. Is sprout. Or else. someone just said Ganda. Because we because we left yeah. it open to our followers. If you're not following us on Insta, guys, you're missing out on all this stuff. Like, Gals, no. check us out on platforms, man. Hazar Bande. They upper as of now, 10.6. Yes. That's about to change it. Yes. No. Very good. Ten, Very no, good. It's not, it's not, it's not that. I know it's not. 10.6 Hajar Bande. Das Hajar Chieso Bande. Yes. Sanu Paul. Thank you for everyone Thank getting you. us to 10K Thank you. on TikTok and Insta. That means the world to us. Appreciation moment right here, guys. When we started the year, we were less than 300 this year. In the Veer, Jagga here said to me, a good goal by the end of this year would be how many followers now? 1,000 followers on Insta. 1,000. That was the goal. Das Hajar Bande to Upar Hoge. Thanks to your support and your following. Unbelievable, man. We love what we do. This is only going to grow. 2024 is going to be a huge year Yeah. Um, for the podcast. So coming back to it. Avocado, Pranthe de Bichu, game changer. Mm. And okay, I'm going to, you know, people want to see the Tarka Beans um, challenge. challenge, which we're going to do. I am going to do Pranthe with you. I'm going to get a different, I'm going to bring you Pranthe. Alu Pranthe. There's something called a Dal Pranthe, which I haven't tried. It's amazing. We need to actually do this. Like, no, no, this is a food challenge. <coughs> I'll get these lined up and I'll get you to try them. And Fine. we'll see if you feel heavy. Fine. Because the thing is, bro, like, I'm not saying you five, six. Doka, I can just stop in it. You don't need to keep going. You know me, man. <laughs> see, <laughs> this is the problem. This is what, I feel heavy because my Dasa Pranthe. I was like, bro, what, yeah, bro. And then I'm you're doing bloody double time, single time, God. Yeah, it's true. I need to do single time. This is the Pranthe. question, right? This is the question, right? right? There you go. <laughs> That's it. No cards today. <laughs> I've done all my cardging before the segment. <laughs> you know what I mean? All right, last segment. This is what's happening, doctor, outside of baby 
habits, all that stuff. Right. This is a very different what's happening, Doctor. We're going to keep sure. it to one topic this week. Oh Everyone's God. been checking the Spotify wrapped. Have they? We have done the same. But I have very, very big updates here for you on this front. My wife has. from last year. Has. Diljeet, big follower. Remember? Oh, 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 oh. 0.5% last year. Last year. And this year? 0.5%. Again, consistent. Oh, uh, you She's know in the top 0.5% You know what listeners. I thought you were going to say? What? That she wasn't. And she was worried about... Right. She she was genuinely getting anxious about this. And then I would have said, Indy, the anxiety you have about her leaving you for Diljeet, you've clearly won her heart over. You getting this many followers this year. By the way... There's a person who got unnamed who referred to our podcast as the Indie Podcast. <laughs> You're so Gal- triggered by Gal- this. Gal- Gal- You're Gal- so Gal- triggered. Gal- but what I will say is also funny is people that call it the Doctor and Indie Podcast. Yes. Indie Podcast are really funny, but he just yes, said like I did. Someone messaged recently as well. <clears throat> yes, they did. They did. I always found that funny. But um, yeah, so she she probably, I think, would have been impressed and you would have thought, oh, I'm getting away Her from Her top artist was still Diljeet. Of course. But she was scared she was going to lose it Let's to Garan Orjala. Oh, because she listened to him a lot as well. Yeah. yeah. Garan Orjala was second on the list. Okay. Third was AP Dillon. Fourth was Icky. Yeah. Fifth was Rasfera. Yeah, pretty good. So, but she was uh, outshone this year. By? By her sister. Sorry, how do you outshone 0.5%? She got 0.05%. That exists on Spotify? Of Diljeet fans on Spotify. Which is the? Aki. Aki Pujabi fan? Yeah, he's massive, massive Bangra fan. Like bigger than Sanj? She introduced Sanj to Bangra. Did not know that. Yeah. Did not know that. Mate. What was what was Aki last year? Uh, No idea. But she made it to 0.05%. She's, she she's farming. She, she beat, beat Sanj by like a thousand minutes or something. Farming. She's farming. Huh? She's farming. She isn't farming. She isn't farming. <laughs> she isn't farming. She's like, listen, I need to beat Sanj. Right? I need to beat my sister. So, guys, <laughs> I want these phones constantly. Listening to um, wow, 0.05%. How does Sanj feel about that? She's really upset. No, she should be. She was really like, upset. Sanj, she's in this WhatsApp group with Daljeet and she Discord isn't. channels. And oh, she... she isn't in a WhatsApp group with him, but you know it's how like you have thing. a broadcast group. That's it. Yeah, yeah that. whatever it is. But Sanj feels like a very personal connection with Daljeet. Like, mm. she. When we were on the staycation, the new album dropped. She was like very critical. I don't know how I feel about Listen this. Listen to the whole thing. Yeah, yeah, she wasn't it. sure. So it's now to be second fiddle to a sister. Oh, that's tough. It's a tough feeling, isn't it? Man. Like, Sanj, sadly, you're not Dojit's number one. Sorry, man. Oh. Hurts, isn't it? I think you should be happy with interviews. I'm fine. No, as in she should appreciate you now. Like She should. You're not. <laughs> Look at him. <laughs> <laughs> that's right, that's right. Yeah. God, no, take that. God, and say it one more time louder for the people at the back. <laughs> <laughs> I appreciate your husband, man. <laughs> oh, 0.05%. How did this, how did that come up? So she posted about it. and Who then posted about it? Aki, she posted it on a story, she her personal. Tagged, she tagged Sanj. And then Aki posted it. No, she sent it to her. And Sanj said to me. Uh, personal. Yeah, I think she was at home. She went, what? And I said, what's what, happened? What's up, what's up? Keep Keep She's like, Aki beat me. I said, what do you mean? She said, she's listened to more Diljeet than I have this year. She's she's 0.05%. And I was like, what were you, 0.05%? She said, yeah. I said, so so she's in like... A more exclusive club. A more exclusive club. Like I said, she's in like a further percentage depth than you are. Mm. And she said, yeah. And I thought, wow, that's crazy. Now, did you gloat or did you just... Did no, you think I, I think I laughed. I just laughed. I didn't say anything. I just That's laughed. Good. Excellent. And then as he went to bed How long and, was she and in that evening, morning she was falling asleep. I was falling asleep. I yeah. said to her, love you. She said, yeah, he, I love you too. I said, cool. And then I said, what did Aki beat you by again? Not to rub it in because I genuinely it forgot. Sound, it does sound like you... No, no, no. Oh, I genuinely forgot because I was like, i got to say this like She wants to go to sleep. Yeah. And she's like, 0.05%. I went... <laughs> so you did do rub it in. I did a little laugh and then went to sleep. That, that, for the time she found out, was she in a state of shock and mourning? Or was the... She was just upset. She was like, I can't believe it. And then she, her sister was confront, like, did she confront her sister? Huh? Did she confront her sister? How? She didn't, she didn't have how, a go at her. How? She sent her a voice note. <laughs> how did you How did you beat me? me? How did you beat me? As the That's what I want to know. But we're going to play a game, Baron, me and you. All right, go on. The game is, don't let me see your phone. Don't let me see your phone. I can see it glowing in the background. I don't want to see it. Your top artist was... You know, because I've told yeah, you. Yeah, 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 yeah. Tell people. Okay. My top artist, guys, for this year was Ludovic Ainaudi, the Italian pianist. Yes. Yep. Mine was Fred again. 
Was he? Fred again. Fred again. You know the song you played in here that I turned into a reel? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Him. When your wife... His music. When yeah. your wife is out thinking you're cheating yeah, but yeah, you're yeah, really doing one. this. Yeah, yeah, yeah that yeah. one. Yeah yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. That. Fred again. That guy. Yeah. I, I, lo- I love his music. I think it's great. Really? Did it tell you a demographic of where a listener like you is going to be commonly residing? Oh, like people like you? Yeah. Yeah, mine were... Australia, New Zealand, something like that, I think. Right. Mine was Loughborough. <laughs> Loughborough? Sanjay's one. It's not exotic, is it? Was, I'll, I'll give you two guesses India. where it is. Huh? India? No. Where is like India, but more Bindu? Canada. Where in Canada? Okay, it's got to be Brampton. Surrey. Yeah, the other side. Fine, yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's Fine, a, so that makes Listeners sense. like you are more likely to be living in yeah, Surrey, yeah, yeah. Vancouver, and she's like, uh, I don't know how I feel about this. <laughs> Why is she surprised by the fact? That's, uh, that's obvious. There you go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mine was Loughborough. Loughborough. That's but uh, yeah, it's just a definitely that kind of area. It's just a Gordon area, let's be honest. Let's be Very honest. middle class Gordon area. Let's be honest. But I love his music, but we're going to try and guess each other's artists. The rest you mean? The rest of them. You won't guess any of them, None. Fuck. I thought but, FKJ but, was going to make it into yours. No. Oh, but I mean, they're very similar to Ludovico. FKJ, I thought would be in yours. Maybe he is. Yeah, so there's five there's five people, isn't there? Yeah, FKJ, number two. There. Right, is there any Punjabi people in there or not? One. Which surprised me, actually. Right, so you, Punjabi, it's not Dajid. No. Did you hate that man? I don't hate him. You I like I mean. his music. Listen, but... your wife's in love with him. No, no, no. Can't, okay, can't, okay, can't, okay. Can't. okay. Oh, if Sanj is playing it in the flat all the time, yeah. what need do it's I have to play it myself on my Spotify? Look, however you want to spin it. Zero. However you want to spin it, I understand. Don't that. No, no. I like Diljit, by the way. Diljit yeah. Bai. I'm we, a love we love you. I'm a big fan. But he doesn't want his wife to leave him for you. So That would be really thank- thankful. Yeah. That would be really nice to know. Thankful. Thank you. Oh. I'd be really oh. thankful if you didn't do that. Oh, thank so, you. What are you being thankful for? All right, fine. Uh, Punjabi artist. I mean, Rafsafer would be a good guess because you do like him. No. But it's not him. All right, cool. It's not Jazzy. Uh, Moose? No. Uh, Granodla? No. Shub? No. It's old or new? New. New guy. Uh, who's new I can't guy? believe you mentioned all those and you missed this guy out. AP. Yeah. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. AP of, was number four. First of his kind. First of his kind. Okay. And Burner Boy was number three. Yeah. Oh, yeah. You love Burner Boy. And then the last one you're not going to get is yeah. the instrumental. It's the Into the Spider-Verse instrumental soundtrack play, by yeah. Daniel Pemberton. I remember because you watched it for the second time with me. You were like just thinking over the, look at the music here. Over the audio. Fucking hell. I'll so show you my vibe because you won't know who these are. Really? Oh, I've never seen more white people on a yeah. on a thing before. Oh, yeah. <laughs> you like you speak the most Punjabi ever, but and you, you are you have the most gorified music. Right, no, taste. but I will ex- I'll explain this on the Go reason on. why. So it's number one is music, number one is Ludovico Einaudi. Ludovico Einaudi, Italian. Einaudi. 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 Yeah. I I am an Audi. <laughs> Ekum, not a group. <laughs> Say it properly. I am an Audi. Okay. All right, number two. Martin Pips. Pips. Yeah, so he's famous for Crown. And he's just oh, a music okay, okay. Yeah, you love that soundtrack, man. Uh, Rupert picture. Gregson of Williams. Yeah, so he's he's one of those where you create a radio and then you get that. So he's, again, classical um, film-based music. A bit like Hans Zimmer. I'm surprised Hans Zimmer wasn't in there. Mm. But it's because I'm listening to this kind of stuff. Thomas Newman? Thomas Newman again. Yeah, he did uh, a lot of film music. And Mark Street. Street, street and Feld? Yeah, again, it's all that type of music. Basically, this is all kind of mu- movie type music. Now, the reason why Punjabi isn't on there is this is not the platform I listen to Punjabi music. Because what do you I listen to? I can't on? listen to SoundCloud. I can't mixes. listen to a non mix now. Mm. Every Punjabi song I listen to is mixed now. When I listen to the original now, I mean, like Gishal that I listen to, um, but there's very few songs which I listen to original versions of now. Mm. It's just the consequence of being a Bronco dancer. Mm, of course. Uh, I know it's a controversial topic in your household, but mixes, but I know I have special permissions to play it and you don't. Yes. I know how you feel about that. Yes. Upset yeah. is the word. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So special privileges is what I'm going to say. Mm. There's JP Javai privilege and then there's KP. There's got co-host. Got co-host, co-host privileges. Co-host privileges. Co-host privileges, um, yeah. Because yeah. Sanjay and I were like, so. Oh, I forgot. We didn't put the sign up today. Yeah, I remember. It's going to be Thanks. Yeah. Really appreciate it. Absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, mate. Um, this has been good. I really enjoyed oh, this episode. What? The stats that Sanj said about our podcast on Spotify Wrapped. We keep that to ourselves. 
Oh, we, you don't we, want to we, we don't tell people that. We okay. tell Look, people oh, that. what I will say is thank I keep, you. I keep that to ourselves. Thank you to the dedicated people. Yes. Because we see the stats. Uh, thank you actually for the message. For, for the those that, that have a big affinity towards us and they've emerged as like, we've emerged as your number one platform. And they message us to say that. Please DM us oh, wow. and we will genuinely send you a heartfelt message about because it means the most to me and Garen. That yeah. reminds me, there was one person's question which I wanted to respond to on camera. Oh, yes. Yeah. I saw this on YouTube. Yeah, let me get the yeah, question. Yeah, get up. it up quickly. <clears throat> we'll deal with this and then we'll wrap up the yeah. part. This has been a long pod, you know. I love it. All right. So this is from the pod you did with Daman. Great pod, by the way. But Very this is a hundredth episode question that we asked. No, he asked. He asked us for the hundredth episode. So this is from Adike. Adi, yeah. Shout out to you, mate. He says, hey, Doc and Indy. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, because normally it's the question for you. That's why. <laughs> it's not that. It's not that. A few months ago, for your hundredth episode, I submitted a question about growing out my hair, embracing my sikhi, etc. <clears throat> I'm proud to say, explaining to them the religious background of growing out my hair helped them understand. Because that was basically the question about how do I frame it. As my beard got longer and thicker, as I began to wear a patka, they got the gist. Now is the time for the next set of questions. What are your personal beard care tips? How long have each of you grown your beards out for? And the day-to-day -day issues you face with a beard bin. Be beard bib. Oh, no, no. Bin with a beard. It's not full stop. Hmm. Been a fan since the beginning and always will be. Adi, Adi. much love, man. Thank you. A lot of love, bro. Um, firstly, I want to say <coughs> massive amounts of love and respect for keeping your kiss. Uh, it's a very big thing to do. I think a lot of people who, a lot of people who grow up and they have gears, you still have appreciation, but somebody to go from not having gears to growing gears, to doing it very intentionally, a lot of respect for that. Mm. Um, it's a very personal thing. You should never have to explain why you're doing it. That's a, per, you know, it's between you and your creator. Um, as to the question about, so how long have you been growing? So I guess we've been growing for long periods of time. So yes, the beginning. But I've I trim mine. You don't trim yours. You did it once upon a time and you stopped. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But so your trials and tribulations and mine are different. Very oh, different. My what? Sorry. Your trials and tribulations with your beard are very yeah, different. Yeah, I'd say. Look, when you get to this kind of level, that, the, the biggest this level. Is the sorry, level. Huh? This kind of level. What you said when you get to this kind of level, it's longer. Oh, I thought you meant level was in like you know when you grow your beard out like me, compared oh, no, to no, Indy no, 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 no. one night over here. Yeah. <laughs> wasn't that <laughs> definitely there, there's no there's no there's no hate here it was more to do with length um yeah. you just have to be very mindful like for me for things like a silly example but when i get ice cream 99 there's no way i'm looking at ice cream what about your daughter now though you have to like you have to tie your beard up oh she showed that picture um, you can't show the picture because the camera's over there i'll show it to but you. you can describe it or just pull your beard back now and show people just quickly yeah that's probably better so yeah one thing i do guys and i recommend this to dads is you can get something called um a body sling <clears throat> so baby carrier is something you get when you're slightly older. Sling is literally a piece of copper. You wrap it around. I showed it to mm. you. When I first saw it, I was like, this, this is not safe. And then when I actually learned it from the person, the happy sling lady, shout out to her. Um, put the baby in there. But obviously, baby, so here comes Hedda sitting here. And I'm like, oh. Now, here's the thing. She actually doesn't mind the beard. Kenny's beard, my beard. She nestles in it. Yeah. yeah. But the reason why I moved it is because I wanted to be able to see her. Because mm. she's lying on my chest. She falls asleep mm. on my chest. I love having that that time with yeah. uh, EK. Um, so what I, have, what I have to do is, this is what we do, I, do, I roll it up. Karen, you know, you've got the thought of your, got <laughs> you got the thought of yeah. your hoodie in there. No, but you know the people that do that, the whole rusty thing. Yeah? Yeah, 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 yeah. And then you do a pinch and then it under. you bring it up. So you yeah. sort of thing. Um, Chindi doesn't like this because <coughs> she feels a little bit like a hamster. Yeah. Her face goes, <laughs> your face goes small. It goes really, yeah, yeah, yeah. And then she remembers that old Karen small chin. Yeah, down. yeah. Um, but yeah, so that, that's that's considerations with EK. Ice cream's considerations. I can't eat a 99. I can't lick it. I have to get a spoon. So I, I stand there with a plastic spoon. Yeah, spoon. same, same. But burgers? Burgers, knife and fork. Such I a mean, ball ache, man. Yeah, Mackey's but, but, burgers. I just say to people, <coughs> listen, I'm going to devour this. Don't look at me. Mm. Don't ask me for conversation. Let me deal with this. Get the tissues ready. I'll clean my beard up after. Mouth to food, not food to mouth. Bring yourself closer to the food. Yeah. You know the thing we talked about? Yeah, yeah. Because sometimes the problem is you eat. You bite into it, it explodes everywhere. And it goes, and it goes down. And then yeah. you get your tissue. And then, so here's the thing. Sometimes you do this and it makes the problem worse. So sometimes you just got to do a dab-dab technique. 
Mm. All you do is I'm going to do it all at the end rather than trying to do it as I go yeah. along. Just just let the carnage happen. Enjoy your meal. Like I went Subway the other day, um, <sighs> pre-Napoleon. Can't do Subway anymore. But I took my knife and fork. Yeah. I literally I had a knife and fork. I had a plate ready as well. Yeah. Uh, I just brought it with me. I was like, yeah, you have to do it. I'm going to eat. Um, the only way to do Subway, if you haven't got a knife and fork, is don't get sauces. Mm. That's where the cloud happens. Mm. Salad, everything else is dry. It's easy. You can, you'll can fall, but it's okay. It's when the sauce gets in there. Oh my God. It's horrible. And you know, it goes hard. if it's in your mutch and stuff. So you got to get into the practice of practicing um, cleaning it. Mm. So have your phone camera, have a mirror, whatever. And just, I even looked at getting like a beard bib. I know you did. It does I remember exist, you looking. I remember but it's you looking. like the weirdest. It doesn't look very nice. So I was like, I'm not going to get that. Um, the other thing is obviously the skin. The skin under your body. Yes. To maintain that, um, beard I, oil. Basically, I, yeah, I, mean, I use beard oil. I used to use that. I just moisturize now, and that does the job for me. So, in like, because it's at a thick level now. So, say I'm doing this bit here, I literally, I put my finger through, I expose the flap, I lift it up, and then I get to these. I have different planes of yeah, my beard, yeah, yeah. and then I get to them. Um, so, moisturize properly. <coughs> Pre or post shower? Key moisturizing. Post. Post shower, yeah. Yeah, I mean, I moisturize it every day. The skin. Not the beard. I'm not about the beard. The beard. The beard needs its own thing. You need to wash your beard. You need to clean it. You need to moisturize it. But actual skin moisturizer, you need to do it every single day. Um, those important things. And comb it. This is the other thing, right? You can get very lazy. Like hair on your head, you comb it more often. Beard sometimes you can just get lazy with it. Um, then it gets knotty, curly, yeah, not, and not then, straight. And because that, see, that's the point. When when people ask me like, "Oh, how do you get shape?" Now I don't shape it anymore, apart from combing it now. Um, and obviously, you can use a hair dryer and get it straight and stuff. But actually, pre hair drying it, you, you need to get out the strays. And so you need to actually, you know, properly comb it. That's something people don't do. <coughs> what about you, Indy? So I'm different to Gurren. I blow dry my, my beard daily to make it look good. Uh, I see a barber once a month to trim it down, who I trust with my hair, which is quite hard to do. I've tried looking at barbers in London and they're shit. Uh, the ones that I've seen, overpriced and shit results. So I'm still shopping around for a better barber there. Beard barber, not hair barber. Very different thing. Not the same thing. Separate topic. Anyway, so for me, um, you indie hate. I will have a shower. After the shower, I will then come out and I've got three layers that I apply. I've got a beard oil mm. that I apply um, into my beard, layer one. So scrub that in all the way through so it gets to the skin beneath. Yep. Number two is a anti-heat spray because I'm going to blow dry my beard in the second step. Mm. So I apply the anti-heat spray all over. It's like got this water texture to it. Rub that in. Mm. And the third layer is a beard moisturizer, which is a moisturizer conditioner. Mm. Rub that into your hands. You put that into your beard as well. Then I've got three layers of protection now. Then I blow dry my, my beard with a circular comb, mm. blow dry it all down in position. And I have to do it over time. Uh, sometimes the longer the beard, the longer it takes. So the longer the beard, the longer it so, takes. On a day like today, where I have my beard done, it take me five minutes to kind of do that. When my beard's not been done for a month and a bit, it takes me ten minutes to do because I'm trying to comb through and get it in different positions. Oh my god! It's uh, it's ball ache. Ten minutes. Yes, and Sanj says to me, "You're taking the piss. You're using up too much electricity." She doesn't say that. I say she that. She doesn't say that. But, but the, yeah. th the thing is, look, it's because add to that the amount of time you take in the toilet and all the other things you do. It's just it all compounds. Yes, and it's the reason he will come late to a party. And sometimes, and sometimes. Uh, on Saturdays or Sundays, I don't do my beard at all. I just have a shower. I put all the stuff in. I don't blow dry it. I just leave it be. Because I'm home. I'm not going anywhere. Um, I just want to chill. What and Sandra that, look at me be like, yeah, cool. see you? Huh? Your fans want to see you? They don't want to see me. They always want to see you. I'm at home. If I know I'm home the whole day, leave it. So Friday night, I know on Saturday I'm home all day. Bus. I'm just going to scruff it out. That way I get to have a break from blow drying it. And I get to give my... My hair, my hair, a break really from being, being being blow dried, blown, yeah, blown. That's the word I was going to say. Being blown, blown or something. Yeah, yeah. yeah, it doesn't really work. Blown, blown, blown. That's it, man. That, those are my tips. If you want a full tutorial, and if people want a tutorial of me doing it, I will drop one. Mm. But you're going to ask me in the comments, and I'll do it. A bit like the darka beans, I will do. Come it. on, man. You got to tell me, now, and I'll look, do it for you. On that point, darka beans. We're making it. We're doing it. Exactly. Message received. Accepted. It will be We're done. Planning it. Just give us time and Sabar logistics. Karo. Logistics. Sabar? Patience. <coughs> hey, buddy. Hey, buddy. Kadar. Oh, shit. I don't know. Remember somebody corrected this on this one as well. Oh. Um, oh. Yes, it is the Kadar. Favor. Value. Value. That's yeah, it. Like, take care of it. Is it? Forgot. Respect. Ooh. Is it? Sabar. Kadar. Yes. Santok. Contentment. Santok.
We like that. I just, <laughs> I, like just, a name. I just know that's a sick name, man. Some some dog, some dog sing did long. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> triple S alliteration. What is your name? Some dog sing. Oh no, it's still Louis. Double S. Oh, sorry, sorry, yeah. It's not my head. Some dog sing. Siddu. What's the other word you learned today? Nimrata. Nimrata. This is something I might start doing now. At the end, just do a little um, glossary of terms you've used today. Baji. Medical time, honey. <laughs> Nimrata. Nimrata. Humility. Humility. Hukum. Uh, God's wishes. Yeah, God's will. Yeah. God's will. Yeah. Hukum. And same as Pana as well. Pana and Hukum are the same thing. Whatever God resides. There you go. Um, and this is in the read. <laughs> this is my friend. Yes. What does your name mean? Uh, Lord of the skies. Yeah. In that Lord in there is the Lord of Lords. The Devte. You have the demigods. He's the I'm, Lord of I'm all not lords. that guy, but okay. <laughs> Veed is a warrior. Yeah. So you're the <coughs> Lord warrior. Lord. My name, Jaskaran, means one who sings God's name. Well, you sing well, I'll tell you that much. God's name. Yeah, you're kind of doing that in this podcast. It's a vessel for you. Yeah. It is. It's a vessel for you. I see it. I see it now. The thing is, you said that now. To push I, out God's I, name. No, no. I thought of the uh, the remixing in the Gita. <laughs> Which one? Piyari Satsangi Ji. This is best it Final point. You know what happened the other day? Again, good daughter, Simran. Can the owner of white Toyota uh, registration plate YZ2232 please move your car? Bande ne kamte jana, please move karo. Tolo, why he good? Back to it, fair play. But I mean, like, I don't, there's no other way of doing that. No. But what I loved when I saw that was that happened 20 years ago, mm. that happened 50 years ago. Mm. Still happens now. How else? Like you could put it on the screen. No one's going to look up. But no one's going to look at it. So you no. need to say it. Yes. How else do you say that and Punjabi people will get it? Mm. <coughs> I thought it was brilliant. I thought Smart. it was so good. People, thank you for tuning in. We will see you soon. Drop us a comment. Drop us a like for Doctor being a daddy. Da -da 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 -daddy. daddy. And we'll see you next week. Peace. And ta ta. Ta ta. Ta ta. Wow. Thank you. Goodbye. Thank you guys for watching. Check out the rest of our episodes here and don't forget to subscribe here. We'll see you guys on the next one.